Now I've already put the chicken legs and chicken wings inside the bowl and I used some EVOO as our binder. You don't have to use EVOO, you could use water, mustard, whatever. I prefer EVOO. Now I have some Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake. I know there's a cow on the front. It's just, it's just a great all around shake. If you don't know who Uncle Steve is, well, I'll leave you a link down below. He is a very nice guy. I know you're going to like him, and he's very generous. First thing I want to do is get that shake on our chicken. Give it a nice coating. Get it really mixed up in there. Now, here's the deal with the chicken. At this point, with our Weber kettle going, we want our rub or shake and our binder to sweat it out with this chicken. That way it just incorporates all those flavors. Now for on the Weber kettle, we're gonna be doing the indirect method and I'm using the Vortex. Vortex is awesome. Put your chicken around it, perfect almost every time. There's a link down below if you're interested in looking at the Vortex. All right, these are gonna sweat down and we will see you in just a moment while that Weber kettle comes up to speed. Our chicken's been sweating it down for about 15 minutes. We're gonna put it on the Weber kettle. Now the smaller pieces, which are usually the wings, are gonna cook a lot faster than the bigger pieces, of course the legs. So the legs I tend to put in a little bit closer. The wings are okay to be on the outside. And for the most part with this cook, we just got wings, so it won't take very long. Now we start the next part, and I think this is the fun part, so let's do it. You and I are going to make a batter for these chicken wings. So I'm gonna start with just some pork rinds. Put them in a bag, I'm not gonna use the whole thing. I actually have a recipe that I'm filming tomorrow that's kind of goes along with this and I'm going to need some of these but you do start with your pork rind so just get as much air out as possible seal it now I don't have anything to roll this with but I do have a Kahlua bottle I know it's kind of white trashy but oh well and we just get in there smash this up you don't have a Kahlua bottle, use a rolling pin. But I want these to be just smashed. And I'm not talking about after I drink a bunch of Kahlua with some vodka smashed. I'm talking about smashed up like this smashed up. Perfect. Gonna take some buttermilk because our buttermilk is gonna act as our binder, you know, kind of like an egg wood for our wash. Gonna take some pickles, and I'm just I'm looking for that pickle juice, is what I'm looking for. I'll take some Frank's red hot, put it in here, give it a nice generous proportion. Now, of course, this is going to add a lot of heat to whatever it is you're cooking. In our case, chicken legs, chicken wings. So depending upon the heat will depend upon how much Frank you're, you're going to put in there. That's perfect. Take our pork rinds. Now, of course, if I were making more hot wings, chicken wings, whatever you want to call them, I probably would have used the entire thing, but it's all good. I'm going to pour some more of Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake in here. Excellent. Give it a nice stir. And I think these are ready to go. So our chicken legs are almost done. I got to go check them out. And then I will see you once we're ready start putting this together. So you guessed it, our chicken just hit 165. I took it off of the Weber kettle, taking it out, rest, it's resting here, kind of cooling off. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take each piece of chicken and we're going to put it into our pork rinds and into buttermilk, back into the pork rinds, just like that. Pretty simple. Wow, we're going to have just enough. Holy cow, just enough. <laughs> Some of these are gonna kinda of get gypped out a little bit, but there we go. All right, these are gonna sit here for a bit. I'm gonna put some oil into the pan, bring it up to about 350, and then we're gonna take these one or two at a time and cook them up. So the temp on our oil is at about 350 degrees. I'm just gonna take one of these pieces of chicken that we've already cooked, put it down. That, my friends, is a beautiful sound. Put another piece in. All right, while those are cooking away, I'm going to give it just a moment. It doesn't take very long, maybe about two minutes. The reason being is we've already cooked them, right? So it shouldn't take long. Yeah, we got some golden brown going on right there. Let's take another couple, throw them in. These are running perfect. Now a lot of our pork rind came off in that, but that's okay because we still have a lot on our chicken. I think it's time to take those last two off. Awesome, they look just golden brown. Now it's time to just let these cool down for a bit before we give them a try. We'll see you in a few minutes when they're cooled off. Our wings are done, but here's the deal. This is like my third or fourth attempt. It's crazy. This just does not work for me the way I want it to. And I put pork rinds on this and every time they keep falling off. This time though, a couple of them have a bunch of the pork rinds left. So I actually want to try this. I'm not sure how I could make this any better. Keep those pork rinds on. Maybe egg would have worked. It didn't last time, so maybe eggs and buttermilk. I don't know, but here it is. Let's try it. Actually, very good. I do get that pork rind. I get a little bit of the Franks. I get that Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake. Got to get yourself some link below. These are really good. No. Yeah. Dang. You know, and maybe they're meant to have the pork rinds fall off and you just get that residual taste of them. Could be. And you know what? In that last bite, I got just a hint of that pickle brine. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll talk to you on the next episode. Take care.